Hi there Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now please do know that this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in to each and every Pisces people out there so just keep that in mind as we go along. I would advise you guys to listen to your own your own intuition and take in what resonates and leave the rest behind um, again this is a general reading so it may not be full-blown specific uh, for each and every one of you so um, yeah just a disclaimer anyways let's just get on with the reading and we're starting off here with the high priestess card and um, this is a, a card of high intuition, of psychic ability. This is actually what represents you right now, Pisces. And I would say that this is a time of your life where in, you know, you're really in tune with your own intuition because I kind of feel that your intuition has been really wonky for the past few months or even half of the year. So, you know, you cannot really see things. In a very intuitive way but right now it it has that feeling wherein you are so in tune with things and you also feel good in the process it is being crossed over by the six of swords which means that you know you're really able to to do the things that you want to feel the things that you want and to really move forward with a lot of things i can sense a lot of passion in you especially since we have here the page of wands as well i say this in every videos and in every reading that the first three cards of the the reading is always very important as it tells us the the whole main for focus and energy of the reading so with the page of wands here there there could be um intense energy coming into you but intense in a very pos positive manner and these are all moving forward energies this can also mean that there's going to be a lot of communication a lot of news coming into your life and you will be able to handle this in a um in a good way as well this can also be a situation wherein people are finding you very attractive and you know there could be a lot of surprises in store for you for the month of december which is always a wonderful thing even though that in your recent past you have here the hangman so i would say that you know it was very recent that the energy shift occurred for you if and in the past, we are seeing here the hangman, there's a lot of uncertainty, you feel alone, you feel isolated, and suddenly you are attracting people in your life. And that is actually a really wonderful thing. But because you have this hangman, this uh, negative card, well, not really negative card, because the hangman always, you know, allows you to reflect on things, allows you to have a lot of realization into things. But I kind of feel that, you know, you are so used to whatever negative situation that has occurred for you to the point wherein there could be fears creeping in you even though that the situation that you have right now or at the very least the situation that will be occurring in your life is actually leading to a positive route so um there could be a situation where it you know you your fears might be getting the better of you or you might be thinking too much to a point of becoming pessimistic you know maybe because you know you're trying to to think logically and not intuitively because if you are in thinking in a very intuitive manner i kind of feel that you are having that thought of maybe i am getting ahead of myself and that might lead to some form of problems later on so that is actually where the fear is coming from but um we are seeing here that you are now able to i kind of feel that for some pisces people out there you have a situation in your life as if your dreams are happening uh something is being manifested in the sky it could also be that you have a very special person in your life right now or you are eyeing someone right now you know there is some form of connection between the high priestess and the emperor card so I would say that um, this is a situation wherein you might be a big influence in their life or 
they might be becoming a big influence in your life, giving you a lot of inspiration to move forward with things, inspiration to to really improve the situation and you're starting to love yourself, you're starting to really enjoy life to the fullest. And, you know, you should be thankful of that. Um, I mean, not everyone is having this kind of energy. So it's a really wonderful aspect that you are, you know, having for the month of December as you enter the new year of 2020. 21. So especially we have here the Eight of Wands in the near future position, which means that there could be something surprising that's going to happen for you in a positive way. Well, hopefully it is in a positive way um, because um, with the Eight of Wands, it's just telling us that something un unexpected is coming in your life essentially it is positive but because of these two cards that we have over here i would say that for some pisces out there this could be an energy where it you know things can go upside down or you might be in a situation wherein there is pain uh, or sudden scenario can happen that can cause you some form of misery or some form of um, heartache all of those kinds of things but for some of you, this can be just a situation wherein it's not necessarily pain or breakups or, or anything like that. So don't be afraid of the three of cups. No, not the three of cups, the three of swords. Because a lot of people, you know, especially those people who are new to tarot or who only read the book, uh, the, the traditional book of tarot would always think of the three of swords as a very painful card and while it is a painful card this can also mean that you know maybe the three of swords is coming into one's mind meaning they are overthinking something to a point wherein they are becoming depressed but it doesn't mean that is the actual situation that they are going through that that that, that <laughs> sorry that is not the actual situation that um is really happening in your life basically and this can also mean that maybe you are trying to 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 assume something something negative like I said earlier, you are so used to maybe being alone. Maybe you haven't been in a relationship for quite a, a long while and suddenly you're entering the dating zone once again and you're having that a lot of different thoughts, you know. You're and and the other person might see this as a very weird thing like why are you thinking this way? Why are you assuming like this, you know? They could be quite shocked with how how you are you know how you think uh and the things that you are assuming and 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 stuff like that all of the negative things that you can come up with you are you are thinking about it and you are assuming which is not very healthy in a in terms of a relationship so um just a recap i just want to say that these two cards can be a situation wherein someone is overthinking and, you know, trying to say, tell the their partner, like, you are cheating behind my back, didn't you? Why, did they, why didn't you respond to me? Well, you should. You know, they might have uh, other valid reasons, but you're still pushing in to what you believe because, you know, because of your own fears and stuff like that. So one aspect is just like silly fights between <laughs> a couple. But at the same time, uh, this could be also a situation wherein maybe um, uh, there could be a situation that can transform a relationship causing uh, some form of pain and stuff like that. But I really don't think so. With this reading, I don't think that this will lead to some form of major issues in the relationship. Uh, because we do have here the four of pentacles like i said there is some form of possessive energy in here and even though i say possessive it doesn't mean it. i mean not everyone um not all people don't like the idea of someone being possessive towards them even though that can be seen in a negative light by some people I know quite a few and I had a few clients that, you know, whenever I tell them that they might be possessive towards you and stuff like that, they will 
and they'll just tell me that I'm okay with that. I mean, it's better that they possessive towards me rather than them cheating behind my back, which actually makes sense. So I kind of feel that this has, you know, uh, an energy like that wherein, you know, maybe you are possessive towards someone and you are assuming something and stuff like that. This can also mean that, you know, at the end of the day, after all of that silly fights that the two of you have, this could be a situation wherein um, the relationship becomes more bonded, becomes more stronger all at the same time. It can also be that, you know, you could be having a real um, wonderful bond with your partner, some form of improvement and happiness happening in your love life. However, there are other issues and other problems that you might be encountering or experiencing, for example, um, in your work, in your career, in your other associates, you might be having issues and that might be what is surprising um, that might come. I mean, that is just a possibility. I'm not saying that that is what's going to happen. There's just, you know, that hint of sudden surprise, sudden changes and transformation that can come. But I feel that it's not going to create a big deal. Um in your in your love life in your personal relationships because we have the outcome card of the ace of pentacles which is a very blessed and positive card of really new beginnings in life so when it comes to relationships this can be really much you know bonded stronger and you might be in a situation wherein you might be wanting to step up the relationship, improve the chapter of your commitment with your partner all at the same time. So, um, yeah, we are seeing here that there could be some slow movement during the first part. Well, I'm not saying the first part, but maybe in the past few months, things have been really, really slow for you. But now, suddenly, there is, you know, really good companionship and commitment that is happy happening between you and a specific person in your life it could also be that someone from afar you, you're able to talk to them again and stuff like that and let us see what we have over here yeah basically um this also is a possibility wherein you might be so passionate with the things that you want, that you feel, and what you demand. Because the last card of the deck that we have over here is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords has a lot to do with communications and messages as well. But at the same time, this can also be a trigger point for some harsh words. So um, we can because we do have a lot of communication cards happening over here, this could be a situation wherein you become so passionate and maybe you got angry or I don't know what happened to you. But maybe your 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 words, the, the choice of your words can be somehow very much it can sting <laughs> and that can create some form of a short setback in the relationship or create some form of shock. But eventually, at the end of the day, this can actually um, create a more tighter and significant bond going to be occurring for you and your specific um, lover, partner, or potential person in your life. What we are seeing over here is that, uh, you know, there was an ending that you have experienced. And now you're coming to a point of rebirth in your life. And some form of uh, union is happening and really working together, working things out and really making an effort to to make something happen. So there's really some form of magnetic attraction that's going to be transpiring for you um, at the end. Well, not really at the end. I mean, with the entire energy of December, there's going to be a few hiccups over here, like I mentioned earlier. But the end, but the end of the day, this is you know really all good, all positive energy that is going to come in to your life. And if you're not feeling the, it this way yet, I kind of feel that you know you will be able to feel that maybe around the middle of December to the end. I don't know, but. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some form of um, good fortune to come, some form of effort, some form of recognition, a lot of speaking, communicating, 
and some form of improvement entering the scene of your love life and relationships. And like I said earlier and for the past few videos that, yes, this is a love reading, but it's not entirely stuck in that relationship zone, commitment zone with of uh, love setup because we're dealing with relationships of all sorts. So this can apply to, to friends, to, uh, to people that you're still dating with, um, to work and associates as well. So, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just think that you need to be careful about the Three of Swords and the Tower card. And that could be something to do with your own emotions and passions. And try not to overthink things. And if you are overthinking, um, try not to suddenly speak your mind without any form of um, facts you know you might just be having some form of assuming stuff and it doesn't really have any basis to it so i hope that that's not going to create big problems in your relationship because as far as i can see there's really no issues in the relationship in fact um the relationship is really strong so don't try to ruin the rela relationship because of because of too much of your emotions that you cannot control. I mean, you're Pisces. You're so in tune with your emotions to a point that sometimes you're not really able to to discern that if this is real or if this is, you know, I would say not real <laughs> or excessive energy. I mean, you are also very sensitive and empathic and you might be picking up energies of your other friends, people that you uh, you know, and that might got into the relationship that is actually very sacred sacred and true to you. So, oh uh, yeah. Um but anyways, overall, I kind of feel that this is a really good reading because I and I think for a lot well, for some of you, you might be very well prepare yourself to a new chapter of your relationship. Maybe you are going to decide to get married, moving in with a specific person in your life. I don't know, but I know that something special will be happening for you for the year of 2021. Especially we have here the Emperor card and the ace of pentacles along with the four of pentacles someone is really so much in love with you and they really really want to tie the knot with you i would say so i hope that you treasure this relationship and try not to overthink things because it's going to be a waste if you let it go um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i do hope that for some people who are tuning into my reading that you find this helpful I hope that you get insight and clarity into the situation that you are going through right now. So, um, yeah, happy 2020 and I'll see you guys again next year. Oh, if you do want a more personal reading with me, you can do that by booking a session with me at my website, InTheStarsByChrissy.com or you can email me at InTheStarsByChrissy at gmail.com and I'll see you guys again next year. Goodbye.